Now, this coming Friday, Holocaust Memorial Day, we'll see the general British release of the film Denial. It tells the story of a court case in the year 2000 involving an American author who had accused a British historian of being a Holocaust denier. The film, which premiered tonight in London, is being released at a time when the Jewish community in Britain is reporting a rise in the number of anti-Semitic incidents. Our religious affairs correspondent Martin Bashir considers the debate around the film. His report does contain some offensive images. Professor Lipstadt, I am that David Irving about whom you have been so rude. Yes, yes, I am. Based on a libel action brought by the writer David Irving against the Jewish scholar Deborah Lipstadt, Denial charts her study of the Auschwitz death camp. Uh, this building was used to delouse the prisoners' clothing. I hope that people will see this film as speaking to a far larger issue than just the Holocaust. None of us thought of this when we, when we really started making the film exactly a year ago. Uh, that it would have such contemporary resonance. That resonance has been felt with increasing anti-Semitic vandalism, including this graffiti on a poster for the film. It's a very disturbing phenomenon. It's people who, who, were, who always felt or believed or feared that their racist thoughts and anti-Semitic thoughts couldn't be expressed, now feeling they have carte blanche. It's thought 2016 could be the worst year on record for anti-Semitism in Britain when figures are published next month by the organisation that records incidents. From across the country, we're receiving about 100 incident reports every single month. That's from members of the public and also from data exchanges with the police. So things are as bad as they've ever been. Denial ends with the judge finding in Lipstadt's favour that David Irving was an active Holocaust denier, anti-Semitic and racist. I hope this film will stop people and, and, and make them realise that there, A, there's certain facts, facts that are undeniable. Something worth remembering in an era of post-truth politics. Martin Bashir, BBC News.